<laughs> Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to a live stream here. Right now we're testing out the new rifle that just came out. The 338 Magnum Bolt Action Rifle. Man, this thing is not only fun, but it sounds incredible and it's just awesome. It makes the whole experience that much better when you're out here hunting for different animals. And I finally just broke my, I don't know, about $450 pair of headphones. Look it, they broke. And uh, the reason that they broke is because, what was it, three years ago, I got hurt. And um, anytime I wear my headphones for more than like an hour, hold on, I gotta turn my chat on here so I can see what you guys are saying. <laughs> there we go, that should work. All right, what's going on guys? <laughs> How's it going? So if you guys remember about two years ago, I got hurt, I had a hernia, had surgery and everything. And every time I would stream or make videos, uh, my headphones would dig into my forehead and my temple and it hurt really bad and caused major headaches for me. Holy crap, we already got a super chat. Book like Buffalo, thank you so much, man. Oh my God, thank you so much. Um, but anyway, so anytime I would record or stream, I would prime my headphones out so that it would put less pressure on my forehead. And over time, I don't know, it just uh, started giving and giving and it literally just snapped. Like I was getting ready to stream, stretched them out a little bit and it just went, <laughs> it just kept going. It literally ripped the whole thing right off. So yeah, they're they're broken now. Um, okay, yeah, we'll we'll get started here in a second. Don't worry. Man, I always forget to turn that thing off. There we go. All right. So yeah, that was uh, quite an interesting way to start off this stream. But we got the new rifle and we're gonna be going after some white teal as well as alligator. So I'm pretty pumped to find out how good it's gonna work. Imagine trying to take down some alligator with the new 338 bolt action rifle. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I also gotta figure out how to, hey, what's up Casey? Dude, I just broke my headphones. I literally just broke it. So I had to tape it with some masking, not masking tape, with some uh, scotch tape. Right here, you can see. <laughs> um, That's money, thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. But yeah, this, this piece right here is what holds it together. And over time I kept prying it and the screw popped out and I don't know where the screw went, but uh, it just broke. All of a sudden it just snapped, yeah. They're V-Moda headphones. They're mo they're mainly for like listening to really good music, good quality and stuff. And so, yeah, they're broken. What's up, KC? Good to see you, though. How's it going, Aaron? What's up? What's going on, Southern Boss? How's it going? Tricks for Days, good to see you. Hey, Sue, how's it going? Hey, Blaze, what's up? Hey, Levi's Outdoors, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah, I appreciate you hyping up the chat here. I actually just got back from shooting my bow. It was really hot outside and I literally got a sunburn on my shoulders for shooting for like an hour. Scotch tape, right? It works wonders. I couldn't believe it. I was all hyped to start the stream and then all of a sudden, snap. <laughs> but I'm still hyped. I'm still super hyped. All right, so it's pretty much prime time for gator and whitetail right now. We're hunting the Mississippi River, and it should be a good time. What's going on, Garrett? How's it going, man? Yeah, I haven't really had a chance to look at the 308 bolt action too much. I've been using the 7mm mostly and the 338 Magnum. How's it going, Booklick Buffalo? Thank you so much again for that super chat, by the way. Man, that was incredible. We literally just barely started the stream, and Booklick Buffalo drops a super chat. Much appreciated, man. Thank you. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah, it's getting pretty thick, especially the fact that it's really warm here. In Texas, it gets, you know, up to like 103, 104 degrees. Right now, it's about 83 out. So it's super, super warm. 
Yeah, Mickey, it's really, really warm here. Very sunny, extremely sunny. Hey, big game hunting, how's it going, man? Ozzy kid, what's going on? You've been you've been the fan for six and a half years. Wow, so you've been here since the beginning. Appreciate that. Thank you so much for letting people know about that, Bookleg Buffalo. You're pumped too. I'm pumped. Oh heck yeah. Hey Jeff Key, uh, bought a t-shirt from you, but it takes a month. Oh really? Um, no, it shouldn't take that long. There was some kind of issues with the. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh, Gator, Gator, Gator. Our first sighting of a gator. It's only a female, but we're going to go for it. Yeah, there was a little bit of issues with uh, the merch company. And I don't know if they sold out or what happened. Because I still plan on getting some more private merch again. Um, personally done. Oh, we got whitetail right there. Ooh, our first sighting of a whitetail. Whitetail and a gator. What do we go for? Oh, I think the whitetail might have spooked, actually. Ah, uh, no, he's still there. He's definitely spookish, but... And the gator crept up on shore. There's another one over there. Another female. Hey, Jeffrey, how's it going, man? Uh, so, Casey, okay, I've been here for one year now. Well, about a year and a half, actually. There's the gator. Yeah, we may have spooked that white tail. The update comes out on the 14th, so it's not out just yet. Nope, this is still a development build or a beta. Hey, Tristan, yeah, we're going to go for the gator. But he seems to have uh, disappeared. What we might do, though, is go for a shot on this gator out here. And if we go for a shot on this one, then this gator here should come running out to give us a shot. I don't know where those whitetail went, dude. They were right there. They may have spooked. Oh! There's our gator. All right, we're going for a shot. 300 yards. Taking out the 338. Shot fired. It looked good. Let's get ready. The other one's going to be coming out. There he is. Oh, he is down. He is down for the count. Wow. That thing worked excellent. Doesn't it sound really good, though? I love the sound of this thing. Absolutely love the sound. And we actually didn't get honey pressure over there, but that doesn't mean we didn't get that gator. We definitely could have gotten it. Oh, your name is Tim. Okay. Sounds good, Tim. Just got a piebald roe deer and an albino. Congrats. Hey, Justin, what's up, man? All right, so first shot was spine, second shot was spine. Both of our shots were a little bit high, but that was actually a big level seven, 435. But we can't use this because it's a little bit too big. Frankly, I'm not really too concerned if we can use it or not. Hey, Brandy, how's it going? Yeah, I'm actually thinking that the gator could have definitely spooked these deer. They were right next to us. I mean, yeah, we were standing up, but we weren't really moving much at all. And the gator was still calm, but the whitetail, they just took off. So I'm pretty sure... You're oh, another gator! Oh, that thing is absolutely smoked. It doesn't even pay to shoot it again. Like, he is going down. Look at that. 0% gonna be flowing right there yep there we go perfect shot perfect perfect shot hey evil ways how's it going 
You know, I understand what you're saying about that. And the 338 definitely could have some more penetration. But I guess they're worried that if they give it too much penetration, then this rifle would just own everything and nobody would want to use any other rifles in the game. And they want to keep the 300 Magnum usable, you know, as well as uh, like the 470 Nitro Express usable. So that's kind of why they don't do it. In my opinion, I think, you know, why not make the game as fun as possible and make this thing just absolutely lethal to the fact that it can take down anything in the game and it would basically be unstoppable at out to 500 yards. But I don't know. I'm not the developer. But there's our shot 100 yards out double lung shot. I do think they could definitely increase it a slight bit, you know? That's money. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat, Jimmy Berg. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Jeff, actually not Jeffrey. I was about to call you Jeffrey, but it's Tim. Tim, how's it going? Another one. Yeah, we got another one. Two gators down. Now we got to get some white tail here. Um, well, I imagine if you're ordering it from Europe, that might actually take a month. <laughs> That changes everything. I didn't even know it shipped that far. Um, but I, like when I ship my personal merch, I ship some out to South Africa. And I know it took at least a month to get there. Wilbur, hey, how's it going, man? Great to see a hashtag Hunter's member here. This is the 338. And as far as what it's called, it is the 338 Sergi LRR something something. Yeah, you just saw it. First white tail down. Dropped it. I don't even know if it was a buck or a doe. Oh, that's a buck. Tried to go right through those trees. But I don't think we did. There's one trivial there. Where's this buck going? Well, we got one down. That's all right. Hey, Yee Yee, how's it going? How tall are you? I'm 6'5. What's going on, Justin? I'm level 20 on PS4. It got fully reset after all your diamonds. You know, that's unfortunate, man. And I've actually had that happen to me two different times on PC where I lost my whole entire account. It's just one of those things where you just got to start over, you know? It's tough, but just start over and create new memories. Okay, where's the dough that we drop right here? Had to have dropped her, right? Ran right past her. There she is. Hey, Peter, how's it going? Not much? The 338, I believe, is class 7 to 9. But let's see what it did. See, there's a shot. I mean, from a front on angle like that, it did pretty good. But obviously broadside, I'd like to see it go through the opposite lung instead of just like stopping kind of halfway in the middle of it. Um, that's the only thing that I would like to see different. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Sorry to hear about that, Wolber. I'll send you the best of wishes. Yeah, it's coming out on the March four on March fourteenth. You're right. So it's going to be a DLC. You'll be able to get the three thirty eight, the seven millimeter, as well as the three hundred eight bolt action rifle. Um, I think it's like five ninety nine for the DLC. And then once you buy it, then you could just go to a lodge, you know, the locker, and you just purchase the. All three rifles. Recently smoked a diamond mallard duck. Congrats, Tristan. That's awesome. I have never been to, ba to Maine. No, I've never been to Maine. I still can't believe I broke my headset. <sighs> I mean, I was debating on getting a new one because it was starting to get cracked pretty good, but now it's definitely broken. 100% broken. 
Like, it could fall off at any second. The moment this uh, scotch tape decides to give out, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to hear anything. Alright, I hear another gator calling somewhere nearby. You're welcome, Wilbur. You're very welcome. Those times are tough. You're hunting for moose on Raventuli. Nice. Good luck. Yeah, honestly, Raventuli... Uh, what's it called? Raventuli Coast is a great map for whitetail. And moose. Hey, Quinton, no problem, man. Thank you. It is great. It's a great pack. I agree with you on that. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to take down gators with the AR-308 and it's ethical and everything, but I just really wanted to find out how much more power the 338 Magnum bolt action rifle has compared to like the AR-308 or the 7mm. And holy Marco, thank you so much for the super chat, bud. I appreciate that. Wow. I was dropping in here and making an incredible entrance all the way from Mexico. Thank you so much, Marco. That means a lot, man. Appreciate all the support. How's the weather down there? Well, I guess you're not really down there. You're not too far away from me because I'm in Texas. Hey, Tanner, how's it going, man? BJ Kominick, what's going on? I'm going to have to start remembering your name. Tim. Jeff That's equals money. Tim. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Get good 44. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Who's your mod? Well, you are right now. And so is Tanner. Oh, I know. It's pretty cool. I'm very fortunate to have you guys. All right, so I don't really know if we're going to find any more whitetail along this coastline here. We got more gator up here for sure. But then we'll go to another spot and definitely find some whitetail. Dan Cooper, welcome to the channel, man. Glad to have you here. Hey, War Eagle, how's it going, man? Well, I can't tell you that, Tim. That's a little too personal, you know? What else is coming with the new update? There's actually quite a few things coming. So when, oh, there's a gator. Ooh, quartering directly away from us at about 250. Wait, oh yeah, look, there it is. So you can see the spotting, that's 320 yards. That means we can zero in for 300 and then go for the shot. Oh, so technically, that shot there should have been lung, liver, and intestine. Because we hit super far back and it was quartering away. But, unfortunately, that's probably just going to be intestine. So the thing that you could argue with is the fact that you could take that exact same shot, but be a little bit closer with the Hawkage bow and the 600 grain arrows, and you would literally shoot straight through that whole alligator. But yet, the 338 Magnum doesn't do that. That's a huge argument. And a lot of people are kind of talking about that. And I think that's actually a very, very valid point. There's absolutely no way in heck that... Oh, I thought I heard another gator. There's no way that the compound bow with arrows can have more penetration than a 338 Magnum rifle. It's just not physically possible. And right now, the bows have more power than the, the most strongest rifle in the game. So I think they need to definitely figure out some kind of adjustment for that. For sure. I'm not complaining that the bow has that much power. Because I love hunting with the bow and arrow. But you need to give the rifles more power then. What if you just give them all more power, right? Why can't you do that? Oh, Jimmy, I know. Deer drives with the 338. <laughs> oh, that would be epic. Oh, 
Oh, wrong lake. I want to go over here. This lake. We haven't been here in a while. This spot's an excellent, excellent spot. What's going on? I stayed up till 2 in the morning because I live in California and you killed your first white tail great one. Been a long time since I've seen your stream. So I got my first great one right when I moved to Texas. Like one week after I got to Texas, I got my first great one white tail. But before that, I was in California. You're right. I was there for 10 years, actually. But it's great to see you too, John Pro Deer. I have been to Michigan, yes, many times. My parents had a cabin with a bar and a resort, and that was in Ironwood, Michigan. So I used to help there and work. Um, well, I used to basically wash dishes for, for the bar for many years. What's going on, kid? How's it going? Can't wait for turkeys to come to Maine. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm getting ready for turkey hunting in California. I'm going to be going um, the second week of April. Damn, what map would I recommend to hunt? Depends on what you want to hunt. Oh, there we go. There's some whitetail. There's some whitetail. All right, there we go. Got our first decent whitetail buck out of there. 250. Let's see what the 338 Magnum can do. Oof. Nice. Perfect drop shot. 250 yards. Um, my all-time favorite map to hunt is Rancho del Arroyo, which is based off of Mexico. Dude, there's a deer running behind that that hill there and we can't see it <laughs> it looked funny oh another deer it's a doe but the reason i like mexico so much is because it's so open and it has really vast plains um yeah we could go for a shot on that one i suppose let's try for a 250 yard shot on this doe because we got to go over there anyways Have potential. I don't think we even connected though. And holy, I'll be the one. Thank you so much for the super chat. Do you practice That's at the ranges you so to improve your shooting? Run. Oh, are you talking about in call of the wild? Okay. So do you practice at the ranges to improve your shooting? Could you use tips to improve? Yesterday you got a diamond Canadian goose in Hirschfelden. With a 200 meter shot using the 22 long rifle. Congrats on your nice diamond goose at 200 yards with a 22. That's an epic shot and a great diamond. And yes, I definitely recommend practicing on the ranges in Call of the Wild. Like when the recurve first came out, you better believe it. I was there every time I went to go hunt for something special. I would always go to that range and make sure that I was super comfortable before I headed out for the hunt. Oh, that fox is lucky. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. Whew. Nice shot. Gray fox is down with the 338 Magnum. But yeah, it's super important to get comfortable with the rifles and the bows that you're using in Call of the Wild because you're gonna be using them so much. And eventually the more you use them, the better shot you're gonna be just like in real life i really didn't shoot my bow that much lately um in the last five years because i was kind of in the big city of california but then over the last year i started shooting it more and more and today i was shooting 80 yards actually i shot 100 yards for my first time ever and ended up hitting the target four times out of four times so that was pretty cool but there's your shot. Double lunged him at 250 yards. And yeah, I would like to see that bullet continue through and end up like right here. Because that's what would happen with the 600s. You know, and it just seems like it really should have a little bit more oomph to it. Still dropped him though. 
But yeah, hopefully that answers your question. I'll be the one. And yeah, definitely recommend going to the range all the time. So you know exactly how your weapons are shooting. For instance, um, when we hunted the, the big brown bear the other day, that's why we were able to pull off that 90 yard shot with the compound bow, because I know it shoots high. So I hold low and the shot, I mean, we literally pulled off a 75 yard heart shot with the bow. That's not because we're just good. That's because practice. I practice a lot. Yes. Dude, I thought I saw something there. So that should have been a heart shot. And I think it was. I was holding for spinal cord, but I was also holding right where the heart should have been. Tucked in right behind that spinal cord. All right, and also our fox should be right here somewhere. According to that pressure, gray fox should have been right down here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no wonder why. I got to turn that back on. So we can find it easier. Wait. It is on. Oh, so that's kind of a bug that's going on now with this beta is it doesn't highlight the animals right now. So you really need to know exactly where they're at. There you go. Another example. 212 yards. And we got stomach, liver, and lung. But... I mean, if you shot a fox at 200 yards with a 338 Magnum, you're going to come out through that front shoulder and there's going to be nothing left of the front shoulder on that fox. It's not going to stop. The bullet is not going to stop because there's nothing there. It's just fur and organs. Like, that's it. And the spine. So it should have came out right through the shoulder right here. Or at least hit the shoulder. Oh, that was actually a seven, so that was a good sized fox as well. Hey, Toby, how's it going, man? What's going on, Chez? Poland ball, you're excited for the hunter pack, huh? It's great. It really is great. What's going on, Get Good? I'm going bow fishing. Do you have any uh, recommendations? Are you going for carp or what species are you going for? That reminds me, I'm probably going to be going for some uh, gator gar again this year. I went last year 10 different times. And I did see a couple of good ones, but they were just, just out of range. All right, let's find our bear. Hey, Gabriel, what's going on? Welcome. So there's a track from our bear. There's the blood from our bear. We spotted him right there. Did he go this way? Yes, he did. There he is. So our shot actually did not get harder, but we did in fact get spine and right lung at 118 yards. Hold up. You can actually use the 338 on black bear. I did not know that. I mean, it makes sense, but I didn't know that. Good to know. When does this pack release? It releases on March 14th. Why do you want to know so bad? My dream animal to hunt is the Alaskan bull moose with a bow and arrow. That is my dream animal to hunt. Not just the moose, but to hunt it with a bow and arrow. So it's more like the combination. Oh, heck yeah, Blazing Fire. Congrats on your 20 gauge for your birthday. That's epic, man. Wow, I'm sure you'll have a great time with that. 
22 Hornet is the best. Yeah, I know the 22 Hornet actually is pretty good. But I've been talking with the developers lately about getting either um, a new rifle added to Call of the Wild to be able to hunt small game with, or maybe improving some of the rifles that we have in the game. So until then, yeah, the 22 That's Hornet funny. is the best. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Holy, thank you again for another super chat. I'll be the one. How many shots do you shoot at the practice and what ranges do you practice? So when I hunt with a recurve bow, I always start at 20 and go up to 60. I'll take basically about three or four shots at each distance. So in total, I'll probably take 15, 20 shots every time I go out or every time before I go out, I should say. Oh, and a lot of times if I'm just out like this and I see something off in the distance, I'll use that and use that for practice as well. For instance, right here, this rabbit is 280. We're zeroing for 160. We're going to have a little bit of drop. So we should be able to compensate. Oh, we didn't get any drop actually, but that's good to know because next time we're not going to hold as high as we just did right there. Um, but yeah, with the, with the bow or recurve, uh, with the recurve bow or the compound bow, I always take at least 15 to 20 shots at the target, start at 20 and go all the way out to 60 yards. If I get comfortable at 20, I'll shoot, you know, maybe like once or twice. And then once I get to 60, I'll shoot 60 until I consistently can hit a 10 every time. And then once that starts happening three times in a row, then I'm good. But again uh appreciate the super chat and thank you for the support i mean in all reality if that was a white-tailed deer it would have been high lung probably spine shot but we're trying to shoot a tiny rabbit with the 338 magnum and yeah it's uh not going to be as accurate as you'd like for instance if we had the 6.5 or the ar-308 that would have been a smoked rabbit Garrett Dippo, what's going on? When am I going to do another great one? Um, so I always hunt for a great one. I just don't do the whole grind thing because I'm, I mean, I'm a hunter. I hunt. I'm not a grinder. That's not what I do. No. But I will, you know, I will try and manage certain areas and take down all the big bucks and hopes for the little ones to come back and get bigger. I will do that. I just won't do it over and over in the same spot every single time. I'll cover new areas. Because I just have to. They should add wood ducks. They really should. I've been wanting wood ducks for a while. There we go. There's some white tail. Alright. So we got some white tail right there. Nothing too special. And a lot of times if I find a herd like this. I really don't mind if that zone gets completely wiped out. But that's a good buck out there. I'm wondering if we took a shot. Is that a big buck out there? I can't tell. I don't have my spotting info on for some reason right now. But I'd say that those are all probably 180-ish bucks. And that buck there's about 270. So it's not super far, but then again, could be kind of cool to take down these white tail too. Tell you what, we're going to take a shot. We're going to go for a Texas heart shot on this buck. Actually, no, we're going to try and drop the doe. Then we're going to drop that buck behind it. And then we're going to go for a Texas heart shot on that one. Okay. Well, the doe is going to move. So we're just going to go for this buck. I mean, the reload time on this. Don't ask me what the heck that shot just was, because that was embarrassing. But the follow up time is just unbelievable. That's what I like the most about this this uh, 338 here. The follow up is so fast. I mean, you can get on them almost instantly and you're already locked and loaded with a follow up shot ready to go. Dude, did we just drop that buck right there. I think we did because I don't see it anywhere. And this buck. Woohoo! We 
we just dropped as well at about 300 yards on the trot. Holy. He's going down. And we'll go for a shot on the doe. So we hit far back because she was trotting. This bullet does take a little bit longer to get to a certain area like that. Um, but at the same time, we probably don't really want to shoot anymore because then we'll wipe out this whole zone. And we already did pretty good considering the fact that we have like six different deer down in this area here. And our zone is still there. So luckily, we did in fact miss that doe in the end. Hey, Tyler, what's up? All you gotta do is say hello one time though, man. But I appreciate that you're happy to be here. Oh, gobbler. Gobbler, gobbler, gobbler. So in this case here, yeah, let's see what the 338 bolt action rifle can do to the gobbler. As to be expected, just dropped him right there. And our zone is still there, but we got a couple of hens here. Now, one thing I would like to see is to get a double. Like if we could potentially Oh, we hit behind that one. Did you see that? We actually hit behind it. I was holding in front of it, but we hit behind it. Oh, fox over there. Couple of fox. Oh, there they are. I almost couldn't even see them, but now I see them. And that over there is about 300 plus out. So it's going to be an interesting shot. It's okay, T Tyler, as long as you understand, man. Now you know for next time, you know, so it won't happen again. All right, so we got a six out there. And there's a, apparently a female too, but I can't actually see the female. I don't even know if you guys can really see this fox or not. Let me know if you guys can see that fox. Because it's kind of difficult for me to see it. So I'm going to try and get a little bit closer or something here. Hey, Toby, what's going on, man? Yes, we do have early access, and that is what you're seeing right now. This fox is interesting, though. You can't? Yeah, I figured that. Oh, I can't see him now, either. Holy, that fox is 400 yards away. Wow. Well, let's try and get back to that spot that we were at so we can see him again. Did they take off or something? What happened here? 1300? Mm, no, they should be there. Hey, Miguel, thanks for the answer. Any ideas that you'd like to see in the future of Call of the Wild? I would love to see a different version of Africa. For me, that would be super important. To get some greater kudu. Um, add lion back. And maybe even some rhino and elephant. Not necessarily rhino, but for sure elephant. Elephant and zebra. And greater kudu. I'm kind of confused because now I can't even see these these fox anymore. And they were right there. Like, where'd they go? If I would have known that, I would have just taken the shot right away. Were they back there? This is so weird. You want Africa 2.0? Yeah, a lot of us really do. And I honestly think that it's necessary for the future of Call of the Wild. We really need greater kudu. We need some Elant. And, uh, you know, that type of game. Yeah, I really don't know where they went. I'm honestly completely confused at where they went. Because they're gone. And it wasn't just one. There was like three of them there. Unless it was like we got closer to them and as we got closer, the brush covered them up. 
That does tend to happen sometimes too. But yeah. Got a real M1 Grand and got my first dough with it last season. Iron sights, 83 yards out. Excellent shot, man. That is awesome. Not an easy task to do either. Michigan. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that becoming a thing. All right. I mean, how cool is that, though? Two nice bucks just laying here. Dropped them both. Got a single lung shoulder blade shot there. So that should definitely have been lung liver probably come out somewhere in the intestine. The bullet should have stopped here somewhere. And then this one double lung shot. You know, that's fine. It should have stopped somewhere in the shoulder, which that's pretty close. 160 on him. Diamond Squirrel. I think Squirrels would be a great addition to Call of the Wild too. Oh, I hear you. The graphics are really good on this map. Oh, there's another Gobbler. That thing's about 400 out there though. Let's see if we can't get a shot on him. Maybe not. Where did he go? Uh, what is that? Is that a white tail? Something just trotted through there. And I'm pretty sure it was a white tail. But, I guess we won't know. Okay, Gobbler. What do I think about a Texas map with exotics? It is a whitetail. I mean, I know a lot of people want Texas. I, to me, I just don't really care that much about Texas because I'm not really a high fence hunter. I'm not like a high fence hunter. I've never hunted a high fence in my entire life. So, I don't know. I just, for me, I don't have a preference on that. But other people, if they like that, then that's fine. You know, I'm not saying I would be against it. It's just not the first thing on my mind. Oh, there we go. Big buck. What a shot. Did you see that? Did you guys see that shot? Wow. That shot was 430 yards. You turkeys are lucky. Really lucky. But I knew he was running to the left. So I held right in front of where he was going and shot. And he ran right into it. We hit him right in the back hind quarter, but he was quartering directly away. So he probably got intestine, liver, and potentially even lung. Man, that was a sweet, sweet shot. Thanks, Miguel. Appreciate that, man. It was pretty cool. Hey, Hayden, how's it going, man? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. Probably no fishing since they're... Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, I was really looking forward to them adding fishing right into Call of the Wild. So then you could literally just, you know, go right now and cast out here and catch some nice catfish or a smallmouth bass or I don't know, like even a walleye. Probably no walleye in here, but largemouth bass. But that is not the case. Hey, Daniel Gunter. Thanks, man. Oh, you guys all saw that shot, huh? Thanks, Kelvin. Thanks, Zenith. 
What's going on, Calvin? John Wick? <laughs> oh, I like that comment. That's a good movie. I really, really want to watch that movie again. Really want to watch it. Because at the time, I was watching it with my last girlfriend. And um, that was in California. She didn't really like it that much. And I loved it. And so it was kind of sad because I really wanted to keep watching it. And she didn't want to watch it. So then I started kind of watching it like when she wasn't watching it. And anyways, I couldn't really get the full experience of it. But I feel like, man, that was a good movie. All right, so we shot something here. Here we go. I was like, I know we shot a deer here somewhere. I just want to go back and watch all three of those John Wicks again. I think there's three of them, right? Got some blood here. Oh yeah, another thing about the update is now we have loadouts. So once you go to a storage unit or a locker, you can select whatever you want. Look at this, we got more blood there. A lot of you guys think that I, I don't actually look for a deer and I, I turn my tracks on in order to find them, but I don't. And you can see right there. Not that that was a good shot at all, but we did take them down and we tracked them without having the tracks on. Thanks, Toby, I appreciate that. Well, I really, really wish I could figure out how to scroll up with this here. Oh, actually. Yeah, I know. Sound like Ozzy Man. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm back and it's for carp. Welcome back in carp. Okay. Well, just get a basic compound bow like I have here. Maybe not this fancy, but, um, you know, just like a cheap one for like 100, 150 bucks. Get that thing set up, put a spool on it, and... Go get some carp. What area are you fishing though? That uh, is a big factor as well. Look at that buck. That's a 215 plus out there. Beautiful, beautiful buck. And the best part is we took down like 10 animals here and we did not lose this zone. That's the best part. Venom, I got my first great one red deer and it took 300 to 350 kills in only two and a half days. You know, some people are just lucky like you. Some people really are. Just like in life, you know, some people are born into money. They don't have to do anything. Some people have to work really hard for it. Some people get girls easy. Some people have to try super, super hard. It's all the same thing. It's just, it's just luck, you know? It's like my grandpa always said, if you draw the, the short straw, then you're out of luck. You never want to draw the short straw. Um, 29 levels and you don't have a 29. You know, the levels don't really matter that much. It's just about hunting. And once you get lucky enough, you'll get one. Only DD can prevent forest fires, Kathy. That's funny. <laughs> hey, Beth, how's it going? I think Mississippi Acres is a good map. Do I think it's worth it? Uh, I would definitely prefer Rancho over Mississippi Acres for sure. So I don't know if I would choose. I wouldn't choose Mississippi over Rancho for sure. You know, Way of the Hunter. I'm going to make some more Way of the Hunter videos definitely. But like the last couple of videos I did. They did not perform very well, and um, it just seemed like no one really wanted to watch them, so. Yeah, until something interesting comes out. Holy, look at that shot. Wow. That shot is absolutely money. 420 yards. And I mean, we couldn't have made a much more perfect shot. Absolutely dead center lung on that beautiful whitetail buck. Look at that. Wow. That's another thing I'm noticing about this uh, beta is, is that the animal doesn't spin anymore, which I like because otherwise you're always trying to hold it from spinning. Now you don't have to touch it. You literally just can zoom in and screenshot it, take an awesome picture just like that. So I really like that a lot, but 420 yards and a 226 massive, massive whitetail buck. 
Wow, that was awesome. And holy Jimmy Berg, thank you so much for the huge super chat, man. I appreciate that. Wow. It's always interesting when uh, a super chat comes in like that, but you don't say anything. So I don't really know like how to respond to it other than I'm very thankful for, for the support. Thank you so much, Jimmy. I appreciate that a lot, man. That is awesome. That's money. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Oh, there you are. Way of the Hunter would be cool, but I understand if the views aren't there. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. You know, I mean, I can have fun playing it and I'll play it and I'll make a couple videos on it. But after a while, if it doesn't perform well, then it takes effect on the video. And the next video I make will just be even worse than the last one. So it's all about the energy. And if I feel good and have fun playing the game, then, you know, the views will be a lot more higher up versus if I know the video is not going to do good, then my energy is not going to be as good either. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but boy, it's so difficult to find these animals with the uh, downed animal tracker not working for us here. Holy, it's so look at there's our gobbler and we ran past him like three times. But here he is here. Take a look at that. 289 yard shot right to the breastbone with a 338 Magnum. And that was a huge gobbler. He weighed 22 pounds, 4.55. He was actually just shy of being a diamond. Just shy. I appreciate that too, Jimmy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the support. It's three o'clock in Europe. Wow. Yeah, it's so fascinating how every place in the world has a different time and you guys can all watch like the same time. 12 o'clock. No wonder why we're not finding any more white teal. White teal are done drinking at this time. But I would like to swing back on through here. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Do any of you guys like playing pool? So I've been playing pool since, I don't know, I was probably 10 or 11 years old. Like I was saying before, my parents owned a resort with a, a bar and hotel and the bar had a pool table. So every time I was done washing dishes, if the, the bar slash restaurant was calm enough, then I would play pool. And that's how I got started in pool. Then eventually, we ended up actually getting one of the old bar pool tables and we put it in um, in our garage. So then we would play pool there and we would have my friends over and we would play games. But I just, uh, I've always loved playing pool and since the last month or two, I've been playing pool a lot now and I'm even entering tournaments. I took third place the other night, so that was pretty cool. Oh, I figured that. I figured you guys would like pool too. That's awesome. Isn't it fun? I'm actually just now learning how to get a backspin. I've always watched people do it and it's so cool, but every time I try to backspin, I either hit too low and then miss Q or I'll hit low and then stop the cue ball dead. And I don't like when I do that because then it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole backspin. And also a top spin. Oh man, top spin is so cool. Totally forgot why we just came over here. Trying to change the time. But meanwhile, I'll look back through here. Wyatt, you like pool. Garrett, you like pool. David likes pool. Oh, Jimmy, you love pool too. Nice. Venom does. Noah loves pool too. Awesome. Kathy, I wanted to play pool, but I was just never really able to. Oh, interesting. You've been playing pool your whole life. 
Look like Buffalo. You love pool, huh? Well, that's great to know. So, are you good at doing, like, uh, jump shots? Jump shots are so hard. But I did actually land a pretty sweet one once, and I put it on my TikTok, too. That reminds me, I gotta start putting more videos on my TikTok. You love pool, Ramsey? Nice, nice. Alright, so we got a good ways to go to get to our next spot here. But, um... Hit the bottom of the ball. Yeah, David, but if you hit, if you actually hit the bottom of the ball, what happens is you end up miscuing. And then it kind of just like a, it does a little hop. Just jumps up a little bit, like boop. So that doesn't really do any good. The key is you got to hit from the middle to the bottom. In between the middle and the bottom of the ball. But then when you hit it, you got to actually snap forward and back. So it's like, in a sense, you push forward and down at the same time, which creates a backspin and that is how you get the ball to come back so you almost have to snap it it's all in the wrist it really is anyways i just learned how to do that uh like two weeks ago the first time and it was so cool last night i was playing and i did it like six times in i don't know probably like five or six games granted there was a couple times when i wanted to do backspin and it would just stop right dead but uh for the most part, every time, it's starting to work now. Hey, Aaron, how's it going, man? You accidentally did it once. Those are always the coolest shots when you accidentally make them. Oh, you like it too, Toby. That's awesome. My great grandpa won a big competition in Italy. And we live there. Very cool, Zenith. Wow, that's awesome. Hopefully someday I can tell my kids that. That I won a cool pool tournament. Oh, I hear deer. But where are they? I don't know. Probably down in that point over there. Uh, no, I haven't played the instrument fife. Nope. Practice with a training ball. It has all the marks for draw, follow through. Oh, that's a good point. I got to get one of those, man. That's a good point. I mean, I've seen people do it on videos and stuff, but I didn't think about actually getting a training ball. Thanks for the information, Buklik Buffalo. I appreciate that a lot. Holy, almost 100 likes on stream. We just jumped up a deer right in front of us here. About to go open sights. And it must have went over that hill or something because I don't see it. Oh, we're going over this way, huh? All right, well, let's get over here and see if we can't get a shot on this deer that we kicked up. I suck at pool, so I stay away. Hey, that's, uh, that's a good reason. Do you do Pokemon? I've never done Pokemon. When I was younger, I collected Pokemon cards, yeah, but I've never played the game. I used to like Dragon Ball Z, though. Dragon Ball Z was so cool. All right, so our deer definitely did not go that way. But I also don't see him over here, too, so. I don't know where that deer went. It's quite interesting. Anyways, let's get back over here and complete our mission. Hunting or fishing? Hunting all day long. But bow fishing is my all-time favorite. Like for me, I love bow fishing more than hunting or fishing. Because, I mean, you can do both at the same time. What's your biggest carp with a bow? I got a 36-pound mirror carp and a 38-pound common carp in Wisconsin. Hmm. I think I got like a 35-pound common 
uh, common carp. I would have had a 40 pounder. But the big female that I got was actually spawned out. Had I got that female a few weeks before, it would have been a 40 pounder. I mean, that fish was like this long. And you could tell it was massive. That's money. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Mirror carp, I've only gotten one or two of those and probably like a, a 18 pounder. So not really very big. Holy Jimmy Berg, thank you again for another super chat. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Oh, and I guess you're taking off. So have a good night. Thank you, Jimmy. Glad to see you here and hopefully you have a great rest of your evening. What state or country would you go to hunt? As in right now? So there is a lot of hunting in Texas, but most of it is high fence hunting and uh, I'm just not really into that that much. I'm not saying I'll never do it, but most of my hunting now um, is either in Wisconsin, which is where I'm from, or uh, we do a lot of mule deer hunting in North Dakota lately. I got a good buck a couple years ago. It's already been two years. It has been two years, hasn't it? Well, no. Technically, one year. Oh, dear. Oh, that's cool. A whole herd of does. Oh, we are not going to be taking them down because we'll lose this zone. We already took down. Wait a second. Oh, we'll lose that zone. It shouldn't affect this zone. So you know what? We'll just take down two does here real quick. Yeah, we'll take down two. I'm going to try for a heart shot on this one. Did you see that fast reload time though? Look at that. Two does just like that. And it's not even that loud. Yep. Doesn't affect the zone at all. Only this one. So that's good. But congrats on your 38 pound mirror carp and your huge common carp. Those things are giant, man. Congrats. Heard someone say Texas. Uh... What's up, TJ Berman? They really need to add squirrels to the game and, and rhinos too would be nice. Yeah, so squirrels definitely. And um, rhinos hopefully someday in the future if they... Dude, I literally ran past these deer, didn't I? Oh, actually no. We're right on top of them. Good thing I stopped. Here they are right here. Two deer, tried for a heart shot, and yeah, that's a heart shot. We got ripped. That's what that is right there. Look at that. Literally hit the top of the heart, aorta, and double lung, and it didn't count as a heart shot. So, just double lung. Not that it really mattered much. Ooh, that shot uh, shoulder and lung bit far forward on that but Wisconsin is excellent for carp it really is there's some massive carp there I mean I used to go every single year probably like six or seven times a summer maybe even more and usually we would get at least one or two 30 pounders North Dakota is very underrated for bow fishing. I used to live up there in tons of huge grass carp, Phil Barrows. Really? I didn't think about that. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. You're out in the middle of nowhere. There could easily be a lot of carp out there. Are you going to make more videos with KG again? Yeah, KG's doing pretty good lately. He comes up with these incredible ideas. I don't even know where he comes with them. Where he comes up with them, but... The thing is, he's so funny, so he could literally come up with anything and it's going to be good. Like, he said that he stayed out in... Tw uh, he said that he survived 24 hours in Russia. And I was thinking, what? What kind of map was he hunting in Russia? But it was Medved Taiga. So that was clever. Yeah, I mean, I'm planning on it. He's, he's like super busy though. 
because he has another channel too this is not his main channel he has a main channel and then he has this channel as well for like uh his backup channel but we got a gobbler out there about out of breath i am out of breath in fact still gonna pull off the shot and that should have been good but yeah we were definitely out of breath there is the 308 a good gun so it is a good gun but here's the thing in fact let's bust it out right now the 308 is a great gun and we dropped that fox but the thing about the 308 is the seven millimeters better you know it has more power so why are you going to use a 338 i mean the 308 when you have a seven millimeter the only thing about the 308 is you actually get uh one more bullet than the seven millimeter but that's it other than that that's pretty much it seven millimeter has a lot more knockdown power than the 338 but here's our fox 308 got him in the intestine at 100 yards and yeah we got the gobbler as well hey baseball how's it going it's almost time for walleye yeah it is huh it's awesome for walleye oh so you walleye fish in north dakota too i didn't even know there was walleyes up there Look at that shot. Took him on the walk at 250. Double lung shot. There we go. Hey, Sarah, what's your favorite gun? I'd say my favorite gun now still is the AR-308. Just because I have one in real life. And um, now we have one in Call of the Wild, too. And it's an excellent, excellent rifle. It really is. Did I tell you guys that I broke my headset? <laughs> Look at the tape on it. That's so funny. Hey, Tanner, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Lake Sakaya, wow in north dakota has piles of carp nobody goes there but it's clear water go there around noon no nights no lights needed shoot till your arms are numb oh dude i definitely got to set that up what time of year are you talking about i am so down for that because the thing is in texas bow fishing is really good right but you got to do it at night with these floodlights and generators and all that stuff and i'm not all about that i like just being out in nature during the, the daylight where you can actually see. And not only that, there's nothing cooler to me than seeing the fish swimming underwater during the day. And you can't do that at night. Do you ever go... Holy Zybai Carver! Thank you so much for the super chat. He says, Hi, I'm pretty new to Hunter, but I do got the 308 and 7mm and I was wondering if you could give me some tips how to make a little more money so i would recommend going to silver ridge peaks that's money because so much. You're a fine hunter. the lakes are all really close together and you can just hop from one lake to the next lake and go there around uh i don't know what time it is now i think it's like 1400 it used to be nine o'clock in the morning for um pronghorn antelope but now i think it's like 1400 just Go to YouTube, search up when um, Pronghorn Antelope drink, you know, the most recent video, probably going to be Lady Legend. And uh, it will show you when the Pronghorn drink and go to those lakes and just take down tons of Pronghorn. That's what I would do to get money because it's fun and you get lots of money and they're pretty easy to take down. So hopefully that's some good advice for you. And thank you again for the support. Zybai Carver, appreciate that. Wait, is there a lake here? It almost looks like it, unless that's the river system there. Oh, it's just a random shed out in the middle here. Interesting. Hey, Braden, what's going on? Toby, welcome back, man. Let's see what's going on about the ranches. I would recommend Michigan.
there's ranches in Michigan? I didn't know that. That's some good advice, though. Yeah, when I was a kid, I would hunt Michigan all the time for bow hunting. And we even hunted it a couple of times for rifle season as well. Um, during the time, the, the lakes didn't freeze over very much, so the ice wasn't safe. But my uncle had an airboat, and we could just take the airboat across the ice. So if the ice broke at all, we would just be fine. We would stay on the boat. It was cool. We got pictures of it. And my parents have pictures of it. It's just, uh, it was an epic moment. Imagine like six guys all in blaze orange with rifles cruising across this huge lake in an airboat when the ice is not safe to walk on. So, oh man, it was so much fun. And back then we, we basically would just hunt for anything that was a decent buck or a doe if we needed meat. Um, that's, uh, public land I'm talking about. Private land, that's a different story. What's up? Remember how you sent me that, uh... No, that wasn't me. That was probably a scam. So, there's a scammer saying that if you send them your number, then you could win a prize from me or something. That is not me. And in fact, I do believe at this point, I should have a check mark next to my name. Just like Flinter does. And I think Scarecrow has one too. That way you know that this is me. No one else can have this check mark unless they submit for it. Mitchity, Mike, what's up? Welcome back. Had to go do something. Did I did you get anything while I was gone? Um We took down a couple of gobblers and some does, I believe. Depends on when you left. I don't remember when you left. I both fish here in eastern Wisconsin. Okay, so Fish and Fool, you live in Wisconsin. But you used to live in North Dakota. Okay, I have a couple of questions. How did you decide to move to North Dakota? And why did you leave from there? All right, we're going with the AR, not the AR. We're going with the 308 bolt action here this time, guys. It sounds cool. It does sound cool. It's just a little unfortunate that now we have a 7mm and the 308. So it's like, well, you might as well use a 7mm because it has more knockdown power. And it's louder. The next animal we see, we'll use a 7mm on it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This thing sounds, you know, cool, but it's it's kind of like a soft sound, like a versus the seven millimeter. When you shoot that thing, it's just like, whoa. I mean, you'll hear it right now. Watch this. So here's the seven millimeter. I was about to shoot through that little crevice there. Why do you got to stop right? Do you hear that? I mean, wow. We'll take another shot just so you can hear it. It's just got a lot more bang to it. A lot more. Woo. Right now, HGC, what's up? Columbia Chrome Outdoors, how's it going? How many great ones? Um, I have one great one, man. But I also don't hunt for them anymore. Do you think they should add squirrels and elephants? Yeah, I think they should add... Wait a second. I think if they make a new African map, then they should definitely add uh, elephant, yeah. Because you can hunt elephant in real life, so... It's not really like you're adding something that you can't hunt. But if they really want to do it right, they should add rhino and they should add... They should add rhino, lion, and elephant all on the same map. If they really want to do it right for all the OG hunters that... I guess like hunter game players that 
loved playing those big game safari type animal uh, hunting games. And after all, it is just a game. You know, they can have that experience where if you want to have a more realistic style hunt, then don't go to this Africa and hunt for elephant and rhino. If you want to hunt just regular animals, then hunt the other African map, you know? All right. Oh, we're by the river now. Got a little bit sidetracked here. I was trying to get down over to this lake here, but that would work too. You probably barely play. It took over a year and 4,000. 4,000 animals to get your great one. Oh, wow. Yep. I am not spending that much time. Not only that, if you spend that much time to get an animal, by the time you get it, it's like you aren't even going to be excited anymore. You're just going to be content and feel that you deserve it because you do deserve it. You freaking worked hard to get it. It's more for me. It's more about the rush of you're in the right place at the right time and you get lucky. And that's what I'd like to see the developers do too, to kind of change the great ones in the direction as to it's more of a luck thing versus what it's like now where it's more of a whoever's the craziest person could kill the most animals in the shortest amount of time is going to get the most great ones you know and i don't know that's just my opinion though i would like to see it, i would like to see it go more in the direction of the hunter classic where anybody could go out there and get lucky and get a non-typical so not a great shot but it did take them down And I'm not kidding. After a thousand animals, over and over and over again, it's gonna start to make you go crazy. Like, how is it not gonna? Going to the same spots constantly, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, you agree, Columbia? Hey, Brendan, what's up? Jump something up right there. I can't get on whatever that is. Oh, that had good potential. Another one. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Where's he going? Where's he going? It's like a clean miss to me. That's all right. Hey, I too. How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, we've been streaming for a little while now. You would love that too, Cody. I mean, in all honesty, that's what I thought it was going to be like when we first heard about the great ones. But then once it turned into this whole like after 10,000 deer, you might get lucky enough to get one to come back. And you might not. You actually might not. Got a three very easy white tail. Got it the other day. Liver shot. Nice work, man. Nice work. Oh, was it? Oh, it was a gold. Wait a second. If it was liver shot, that should be a diamond. I'd like to see it how it can be luck and not where you spend countless hours herd management, which is not hunting. You know what? You couldn't have said it better. I couldn't have said it better myself, man. You're right about that one. You know what the best part is? Jaxi feels the same way. So it's so cool that we both hunt the same way. Hey, Benjamin, how's it going, man? All 
I wonder if there's deer over there. Yeah, so you saw we already did make a 430 yard shot. It is definitely possible with this thing to go for some super long distance shots. Well, let's get back over there and get on some more whitetail and gators. Kathy says you think they should have great ones. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. Whoa. Thanks for subscribing, man. Zybi Carver. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, you agree that the great one should be more about luck versus grinding. Should go to Utah for mule deer. There's some big ones there. Yeah, I bet there are. There we go. That is a pipe. Just out for a walk with your rifle. Nice, nice. Hey, Cody. Grinded for all my great ones and it was always very repetitive and boring. Yep. That's the way it is. Just sucks. It like sucks your soul away slowly. Wait a second. The great one did come out when I was still in California. Because I remember that. It's not hunting when you're just jumping from tent to tent, resetting the time, making stuff appear. Well, I mean, that's what separates the real hunters from the hunters that play it like a city game, you know? So that's fine, because there's many ways you can play it. Got a great one on Rancho, and some people call the lake Ghost Lake. Uh, I believe that's where I got my huge diamond at. I know Ghost Lake, yep. Forty-seven different zones, mass farming them to get a great one. Oh, it's uh definitely a major strain on your strain on your eyes to get that many deer over and over again. Yeah, you know what's interesting because ever since I started doing YouTube. And my eyes Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. My eyes got worse and worse and worse. And now actually when I drive I need glasses. I never thought in my entire life that I would need glasses. But it makes sense. You know, the more you look at a screen, the more it's going to affect your eyes. But I also just got some contacts last week. And I don't know about you guys, but boy, are they a pain in the butt to try and put in. Oh, that buck is long gone. But that doe is not. Okay, so there was definitely a buck right there, and there is a zone there. Hey, J Bog, or J Big Dog. And holy LH, thank you for the super chat, man. I've been watching your videos for two years now. I remember you, man. Thank you so much and glad to see you here. How's it going? Appreciate the support. It's a little unfortunate that we kicked up that whitetail buck. And didn't get a shot, but... What kind of broadheads do you use? I use Grim Reaper Whitetail Slayer broadheads. The same ones that Tim Wells uses. That's actually why I started shooting them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now that is something that we're not going to be taking with a 338. Huge mythical. Huge. But we'll take them with the 7mm. Wow, that's a big gator. Oh, there goes our buck. Well, we might be able to get a shot on him. 920. Yeah, we might be able to get a shot on him. But there's our gator there. Now, in this case here, uh, 
I'm thinking that if we put a nice double lung, we, we should Welcome to the channel and thank you for should get this gator. Where in the heck did it just go? There it is right there. All right. Oh, I don't know how far that is. Hey, Gabriel, sounds good, man. Uh, it's about 260, so we're going to have a little bit of drop there. Dime potential. Definitely dime potential. We're throwing two into him. Woo! We got him. Uh, I'm almost wondering if maybe we didn't have any drop and that first shot hit neck. 260. Or what did we hit? Either way. Either way, that was epic. Monster mythical gator. And to take him down that quickly. Like, I was worried that he was going to get out into this water here and try and swim away. But holy, what a shot. Took him with a 7mm as well. Hey, Keaton, been watching for three years. I appreciate that. Glad to have you here, man. Yeah, good luck finding that on multiplayer. I agree with you on that. It's gator time. Thank you for subscribing. Hey, 050. Welcome to the channel and thanks for subscribing, man. All right, guys. We got to find our gator here. Uh, there it is. Look at that thing did not even move. I'm talking didn't even flinch. Look at that thing. It almost looks like a, a pie ball or something, but it's just the the tree shining down on them, making them look different. All right, let's turn the light on so we can see what it actually looks like here. Yeah, you see? It's just from the trees. Still a massive, massive gator, though. Let's see how we did. No! Do you realize what we just did? We pulled off a 275 yard heart shot. That is what we just did. On a 436 massive gold mythical gator. Oh my God, was that shot epic. Look at that. Nicked the top of the heart and got lung with the seven millimeter. That's the thing about the 7mm too though, is it's more accurate than the 338. I mean, that shot is perfect. Absolutely perfect. But a massive, massive gator. Yeah, I know it's only a gold. I mean, it was a mythical. The odds of a mythical being a diamond is super, super rare. Oh, look at that angle there. That's cool. Still, still awesome. 275 yards. I mean, because we were compensating for a little bit of drop. We're zeroed in for 160. And he was facing just like this. And I was holding right there to compensate for enough drop to hit like right here. And that's exactly what happened. Epic, epic moment right there. Thanks, Jay Big Dog. All right, I think I see our white tail. Yeah, there's a doe. The box should be with her, though. Mm, maybe not. But I think we'll go for a shot on this doe. Whoa. What is up with that? Why is she fleeing? Is there another alligator over there? Holy, there's a white tail. Wait. Oh, there's a duck there. Interesting. Alright, Kathy, see you later. 
Hey, Carrie, thank you. I'm glad you like the videos. After you say, bro, it's only a gold. <laughs> Did you think that it was going to be a, a diamond or something? Hey, Douglas. Yeah, two years. That's a long time. Hey, where would a great place to get my first great one whitetail be? Boy, that is one heck of a good question. I can't tell you how many people would love to be able to um, get an answer to that. And I would love to be able to give you an answer, but I just, I don't know. The best advice that I can give you to get a great one is try and figure out a formula. You know, it's not even about hunting. It's all about math here. If you're good at math and figuring out formulas, then you'll be able to figure out how to get a great one. And once you do that, you just keep doing it and you'll get more and more. Like I was saying before, I'm not all about formulas and math and stuff to hunt. I'm more about hunt. Dude, freaking albino alligator. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. Albino gator. I don't know where it's going though. It was going, okay, it's running down the river. Where did it go, where did it go? Watch for it, it was running this way. I didn't spot it though. I think there's two of them here. See, there's one. Oh my god, how many gators are here? I know it was definitely running this way. Is it like stuck somewhere? I can't tell if that's the one or not. Yeah, that thing's gone. Long gone. Oh my god, what a rush. Well, that just happened. Don't know where he's at anymore, but we'll definitely come back here, I'll tell you that. I don't think I've ever seen an, an albino before. I've gotten piebalds, but there's one there. That's just one or two. Yeah. All right, we'll go for a shot on this one and then we'll come back and try and find the albino. Dude, there is, there was two of them there. There was two of them there. Oh. Yeah, that one's smoked too. That one's gonna float up here any second now. Yep, there we go. Loading up to the top. All right, so we know the gator is somewhere between here and here, between eight o'clock and 10 o'clock. So I have to come back tomorrow morning and try and get this thing. It appears our gator got stuck on that tree. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, I don't really know if we're going to be able to get this one, guys. It looks pretty deep there. Yeah, I don't know about that one. 
We'll check. Do I hunt deer in real life? Yes, I do. Whitetail and mule deer. Hey, look at that. Another gator just popped up. We got both of them. So the good thing is when we do get this albino or whatever it is, we'll be able to get them. As long as that doesn't happen. If they get stuck on a tree like that, then we're kind of SOL, as my grandpa would say. I mean, I, like, how are we supposed to get that thing off the tree, you know what I mean? Oh, it could have worked, I suppose. Hey, the Rat Hunter, how's it going? As per streams, a full screen, I only have small. Wait, what? Whoa! Oh. What's the cross? Uh, no, I have not gotten a diamond alligator. Nope. Oh, there's our shot there. 236 yards. It was facing directly at us, and we shot right over the top. Looks like it should have been a good shot, but just didn't quite connect on the neck there. All right. Let's uh, get back. Where are we going to come from, though? So we basically got to come in from here to be able to get to that thing. I love your videos, but you need to stream in full screen. It's not only a small screen missing the hardware screen, but it's slightly not. I don't know what you're talking about, because for me, I can see pretty much everything here. Do I know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? I've never done it before. But, um, I never really tried either, so. I don't know, I guess I could probably. Now I can hunt white tail? No, now we have to find that albino gator. That's what we have to do. It's a pretty cool thing that we have to do. So we'll come back here in the morning. About 8.30. Should be good. The new rifles do sound amazing. That's one thing I'll give it. The new rifles do sound incredible. I mean, how cool is that? Someday I want to have a half body mount of a gator like that wide open with a mouth just like that. I'm also going to have a gator gar like that too with the arrow sticking out of it from bow fishing. And I uh, also want to have like a string attached to maybe a buoy up here. Man, how cool would that be? Wow. All right, enough talk. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. We got potentially an albino or a piebald gator on our map. It's probably a piebald, but still. It's super cool. Oh, thanks for the confirmation, Zenith. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I really don't know what he was talking about. That is interesting. Oh, thank you, Carrie. I appreciate that. So basically, we just got to get to here. And along the way, we can kick up some whitetail or bedded wild hogs as well. We'll see what happens. Locked and loaded, we'll have the 338. If it's a small albino, we'll just unload the 338 into it until we get it. 
I'm not worried. Even if it's like a six, then I'm still not worried. If it's a big seven, then we're gonna go for a shot with the seven millimeter and try and get a nice gold. Hey, Twin Outdoors, how's it going? Just hopping on right now. The hunt is going amazing and we found a super cool rare alligator, which we're about to go after right now. Hey, Twin Outdoors, thank you, man. It's getting dark, by the way. Gotta turn the light on. Uh, next time we... Oh, wait, what, is, what the heck? Is that a tree? It literally looked like an animal, but it's just a stump, I guess. Yeah, next time we get something, I'll go into the Streamlabs screen so I can see exactly what you guys can see. And then, I mean, if I have to do a slight adjustment, I can always do that. But I know it's not anything that's that big of a deal. It's very, very minor for sure. Thank you for saying that, though, Twin. That means a lot. Hey, Landon, how have you been, man? Of course I remember you. I remember seeing you at the streams. Oh, of course. I mean, of course, if it's dime potential, then we're definitely using the seven millimeter. Or. We should have. Yeah, we do. The Hawkage bow. Because it's actually shallow enough there where if we put a nice vital hit into it, it would float back up to the top. So that'd be perfect. If we can pull that off. Connie says, we started streaming 104 minutes ago. Thank you for that uh, information. Of course, Twin Outdoors. Thanks, man. What's going on, Taco? No, I appreciate that, Carrie. I'm glad to hear that. I got a question though for you out of all my videos which one is your all-time favorite video or if you can't answer that because I know to pick a favorite could be difficult at least like top three yeah that's awesome how have you been Jessica <laughs> nice update, nice update. Alright, we're getting pretty close here. We kicked up the gator right here at this little... There's like a little sliver right here. And that gator was running right here. So I bet he probably rests right here. So we should mark that spot. We really should. Hey, Taco. Yes, you're on YouTube. You can say, hi, mom. I'm on YouTube. Got him. All right. Now we're going to check the harvest screen. That was kind of an epic shot, too, by the way. We're going to check the harvest screen here, and I'll see what uh, he was talking about. All right. We got blood here. Blood here and a turkey is down right there. Hey, the rodeo boys. I'm a huge fan. How's your day been? It's been really good so far, man. One second. Got to check something out here. Oh, I see what you're talking about. No problem. That could be a little bit frustrating because like all the words are cut off. Huh. I wonder how that happened. Well, what if we go like this? And that. And maybe. That.
What do we got here? Need to go a little bit more. Alright, I think that should be good there. Yeah, thanks for letting me know about that, by the way. There we go. So that should be good. Oh, I kind of wanted to find out where we hit him, actually. Thanks, Bruto. Have I ever hunted in Africa in real life? No, I haven't. Do I plan on hunting there? Someday, yeah. Got him in the tail, huh? Well, that's good to know. All right, let's see. Yeah, you know, Trapper, I really don't know how to answer that question. Favorite YouTuber ever. Thank you, Carrie. That means a lot. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Not gonna lie, I did think it was hard to... Wait a second. I did think it was a good chance having hunted gators in a while. Oh! So yeah, if you don't hunt something for a while, then there's a good chance you're gonna find a rare or a diamond. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Thanks, I too. Yeah, I totally understand. I mean, it wasn't just one word. It was literally like everything was cut off on the left side of the screen. So hopefully it's fixed now. And yeah, it should be. It also actually might help it uh, run more smooth now too. Because it was zoomed in a little bit too much. I had to back it out a little bit. I have never gotten an albino gator, nope. I've gotten a piebald. Three or four piebalds. In fact, one we actually got out of a tree stand with a bow and arrow. Wow, that was an epic, epic moment right there. And the first shot, I actually somehow missed it. So then the second shot had to shoot under the, underneath the thing into the water while it was swimming and got lucky enough to connect on it and got a vital hit. How long are we going to stream for? Uh, a bit longer yet. Don't really have any um, exact time to end it. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. That's a good buck. I can't tell if that's a big buck. Mm, that's a 170 plus. It's a good, good buck. But we're right on top of where this gator should be. So we are not going to be taking a shot just yet. In fact, we might, may have gotten a little bit too close here. I think we should be alright. Yeah, 170 plus. How do I get the... The spotting info. I can't tell how big the animals are. Hey, Zena, sounds good, man. You are literally about to leave right at the perfect moment to not leave, but I understand it's getting late there. I think you said it was like three o'clock in the morning, right? Okay, there's a gator there. That is not our gator. So, something tells me that it's going to be sunning itself on that side over there somewhere. But, I just don't know where. Hey Dominic, the new weapon pack is coming out on March 14th, man. Hey Gigi, how's it going? Today's the day for the albino. Today is a perfect day for the albino. Ooh, that could be it. Where was that? Where was that? Where, 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 where? Could be. 
Where is that calling from? Oh, right there. That is not our albino. Okay, so that's two gators that we can check off the list. I mean, believe me, when we see it, we'll know it. Hey, Hayden, how many how many diamonds do I have? Um, 756. Dude, I literally thought that that was our gator. It's the boat. The boat is right there. <sighs> Just about gave me a heart attack. Hey, Tanner, thanks, man. Oh, there's one there. Uh, that's not it either. And is that the same one? That's got to be a different one, too. Yeah, there's no way that's the same one. It's good at hiding. I'll tell you that. I should hunt turkey in Maine. I'm actually going to be hunting turkey in California um, in about a month here. I mean, I know for sure. Hold on, hold on. I think we might have found it. Either that's it or it's a rock. No, it's a rock. For sure we could kick it up if we ran through there, but I'd rather not kick it up and try and get a decent shot at it. Hey, Mason, how's it going, man? Of course I remember you. But yeah, not seeing it so far. So the thing is, we don't know the exact location of where he's going to be hanging out at. All I know is we kicked him up right here. And he's really, really white colored. Oh. Moving to California, but uh, I'm in California, but moving to Nevada in the summer. Oh, nice mud dog. That's awesome. Okay, there's the one that. Fleeing. I wouldn't really call that fleeing. Clearly, that is not the right one either. The only thing is, is that there's a little strip of island right here. If you look at the map, you can see this little strip here. I guarantee it, it's sitting right between this strip along this shore here, and we can't see it because this strip is here. Oh, what do we got there? Another gator there. So we'll have to kind of cross over to the other side here and then we might be able to get a shot on him. Or at least spot him. Do any of you people have a favorite car? People. 
I'm sure everybody has a favorite car. Hey, Wyatt. Watch your vids before, but I've never joined a stream and my cousin loves to watch the videos too. Oh, that's awesome, Wyatt. Tell your cousin I'm glad to have you guys here. Thanks so much for watching the channel, man. Well, we're going to have to run through there and try and kick him up. It's the only thing I can think of to find him. Hey, Volps. Yeah, I'm pushing for a small game really hard right now. I've been talking to the developers a lot about that. Either they're going to add a new rifle or they're going to improve the penetration to the small rifles that we already have. But definitely something has to happen. And they know it. They know it all right. In fact, I even showed them my video um, of... Uh, I forgot what I called it, but... I think it was called, I figured out the perfect solution to hunting small game. And I showed them that right, that video and they really liked it. So yeah, I'm definitely working on it as much as I can. Cause for me, small game's a big deal. Hey, slinging arrows with Mason. What's up, man? So apparently the next great one is actually going to be uh, bison apparently. Yeah, we're trying to find him, but oh boy, he's difficult. Because the thing is, we didn't actually get a spotting on him, so we don't know where he lives. It could frankly be anywhere at this point. All I know is he's here somewhere. Could be way up here on the shore. Could be back over here. Just a little bit unfortunate that we covered all that ground and never saw him. And the thing is, I can't even find his track right now because I wouldn't be able to tell if it was him or not. track there yeah see it says unknown Got ourselves an interesting predicament here. Uh, we could look for tracks. Run. Oh, 
I know. Crows would be cool. Yeah, I used to hunt a lot of crows. It's such a strange thing to hunt. But honestly, it is one of the funnest things to hunt. Where are you at? Where are you at? That might be it. There's just too many areas to try and watch right now. so difficult to see it's hissing a lot though female tracks yeah this is a bummer I know right Tanner that's pretty cool I noticed that the other day we're getting close to 200,000 subscribers which is unbelievable because right now we're almost at 180 I mean uh, we're almost at yeah 180 there's a good buck there I think we're gonna take that buck actually and I think we might take them with the seven millimeter. So how far is that? That's about 400 yards. So yeah, let's go for a shot with a seven millimeter here and just see how it does. Incredible. And he's already down. Whoa! It was just a doe. I don't know how we're going to find this albino. Or whatever it is. The whitetail whisperer. So we were hunting whitetails with the 338, but then we found a cool alligator. It looks like that thing's going to hang tight right there. And ever since we found the cool alligator, we've been trying to get the cool alligator, but we haven't found it yet. And there's not really a whole lot that we can do to find it. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. We'll try a little bit harder. That's our buck. Dude, our buck is going to float right over here, isn't it? Well, that's one way to take down a buck. Another buck. We're gonna check the hunting pressure here. Yeah, we could take down one more. Got him! Wow. So we got these tracks here. And our big buck, I believe, is floating over to us. Yep, there he is right there. <laughs> He's got a long ways to go. I hear another gator over here. Intestine shot there. We're gonna make it happen, huh? Well, I hope so. I mean, if we knew where he was for sure, then I'd say yes, but we don't. We saw him running one time. And that's it. Oh, look at that. Running lung liver shot, open sights. 70 yards out there. All right, where 
that our buck decided to float over to now. What in the... Oh, that's nice. He got stuck in those trees out there. Now we may be able to get over there. May be able to. Could you do... You know you're going to be at 200,000 subscribers. Um, Yeah, that's what... Uh, I think Mason was just saying. Hey John, it's been a while since I've consistently gone live, but lately I've been trying to go at least every Saturday. Hey, look at that. It got unstuck. Well, that's good news. Because I honestly don't think we could have crossed there. All right, well, let's get back over here. <laughs> Oh, you're bro yeah, I remember that. You and Mason are brothers. Dennis, we are currently trying to find a rare albino or potentially piebald alligator. So that's why we're not going to a different map. Where's this white tail going? Yeah, I remember. Hang one of those deer for bait. That's not a bad idea. How cool would that be? Set up a tree stand right there. Oh, actually, that won't be a bad idea. But the problem is this thick spot in the middle. What if we set up a tree stand here and then we can see where he comes from? Well, I mean, he's right next to... Oh, what do we got here now? This may be where he came from. There's a good chance we kicked him up right here. And as we were running along here, he just followed along this bank. There's a really good chance he was actually hanging out right here. So if that's the case, then we can come in from this lodge, loop around and be able to find him. And according to that weight there, it's probably a six. But the good thing is it's a male. Holy, where is this buck going? I didn't realize how far away we were when we took that shot. I mean, I know it was 400 yards, but wow. Hey, Donald, I appreciate that, man. Glad to have you here. Welcome to your first live stream. Welcome back, Gabriel. We found a rare albino or possibly piebald alligator, but there is a 400 yard shot with a seven millimeter. Actually got him a little bit high because I was holding pretty high there. We didn't get much drop at all, to be honest. I mean, I was holding right here. It only dropped about four inches, but a beautiful buck, 198.6 gold. All right. So yeah, we are in fact going to have to come back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a doe there. Uh, she is alert. But I'm thinking it's probably because there's an alligator over there. What do you think? Because she's not looking at us. Well, either way, we'll come back here tomorrow. Is a seven millimeter four to nine? Um, I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Or five to nine or something like that. No, it's four to nine. All right, so what is this spot here? Eight till 12 o'clock. Well. We'll come back tomorrow at 9 o'clock and see what happens. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Let's 
Let's see. Oh, I appreciate that, Mason. Thank you, man. I mean, I think Africa 2.0 is going to be game-changing as well. It's honestly going to be unbelievable to be able to have a new version of Africa with completely different animals out there and a whole different style to be able to hunt them. So, yeah, I think so. Hey, Lacey. Oh, thank you. Glad to see you here for the first time. Did you catch any fish, Jessica? We don't know yet. We know for sure there's going to be a new map in June because there's always a new map released in June. But uh, that's a little bit too far in advance to know right now. So if we spawn in there, is that too close? We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. I mean, don't really have many options. Let's see, Jamie Quezada. Welcome to the channel and thanks for subscribing. Quez yeah, I'm not gonna try and say that again. <laughs> Hey, Lucas. Hey, what's going on, Cody? Great to see you here, man. How's your day going? Oh, mine's going great. I shot my bow and arrow for the first time at 100 yards today, and man, it was awesome. I've never been able to shoot 100 yards in my entire life, and I shot... So, well, I shot five times, and all my arrows hit the target. But not just the target, they hit. It would basically be like a seven ring in a sense. So yeah, it was it was pretty cool. What's up? I should be sleeping, but I'm on vacation and rather watch your stream. Love from Germany. Oh, thank you, Christian. That's awesome, man. So right now what's going on is we got a rare alligator here and we're trying to figure out where he hangs out. We know it's somewhere around here, but we just don't know exactly where. So right now we're just coming back to the spot, but then again, that's 400 yards away. So maybe we couldn't see that far. Yeah, we got to go check over there. That's so awesome, man. You're on vacation and you're still watching the stream. Like, that is unbelievable support. Thank you. Uh, definitely spotted something right there. That's a six. Oh my God, that might. No, that's not it. I don't think. But then again, you never know. You never know until you can see the rest of their body. So that one's coming up to right there. I don't believe that's it, but could be. And then this one. Is way the heck over there. Ah, uh, Pablo, that's so funny. I mean, there's no other options. I do have Gorilla Tape, which I could probably just get that. Um, but for now, all I had at, like uh, within access was Scotch Tape. Okay, so there's that gator. It's a two. And it's a female. So that's not it. But the hold on. Where were we not like over here before? It's confusing because there's no hunting pressure anymore. Oh, that is not good. That is really not good. 
We crash. That's the first time I've honestly crashed in probably like three months. So we'll go back and see if we can find him. What's up, the Johnson boys? I have the same bow you have in the background. You got a Hoyt Katera? Heck yeah, that's awesome, man. I actually have two of them. One, this one's right here, and I either have I have another one as well, which is my bow fishing bow. But that one's all set up for Gator Gar. So this is the Well, I mean technically this is a bow fishing bow too, because this little thing here is where my buoy goes for Gator Gar too. But the other one has a spool on it and stuff, and this one doesn't. And that was totally unfortunate. Not that we crash, but that we can't find this alligator. Always makes my day to see you live, or if you posted a new video. I'm glad to hear that, Cody. Thank you for saying that, man. Boy, this is uh, getting to be pretty difficult to find this thing. Not gonna lie. Is there an in-game description of the 338? What do you mean by that? So basically the 338 has the exact same amount of power and penetration as the existing break action 338. Is it break action or single shot? Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. Yeah, it is break action. Um, so it's the same exact thing as the 338 that we already have. It just sounds way cooler and you have really, really fast uh, response time. All right, so there's a gator there. And it's Miley and Derek. Hey guys, thanks for subscribing and welcome to the channel. You know what we might have to do is just take down every single... Whoa. What do we got over there? We might just take down every single gator in this area before we can find the one that we're looking for. Um, we're pretty far away, so I don't think it would spook him. If we went for a shot. Oh, big seven. Big seven. We just recently got a massive mythical right around this point here, and that's probably where that seven came from, to be honest. He's gonna chill right there. But I think we're gonna go for a shot on him just so we can take a shot here. I'm gonna take a shot for about 250. Wait, how far is that? Mm, 250. Yeah, about 250. Thank you for subscribing. Hey, Tony Dimmit. Thanks, man. Welcome to the channel. Um, we're gonna go for a shot with a seven millimeter. I had about 250 here. It's not a good angle at all, but we're gonna try and catch a long and intestine potentially. Oh, follow up look good. Follow up was not good, but that shot should have been good. We're empty. All right, either way, that will definitely take down that gator. I bet we probably did get lung on one of those shots, but I just wanted to put a follow up just in case. Anyways, now let's get back over here and find this gator. I bowfish. Yes, I do bowfish. Holy, what did we just see over here? I just saw a flash of white. In fact, that's one of the main reasons that I actually moved here to Texas to bowfish. To try and replicate the exact moment 
that I had when I was 19 and got my seven foot, six inch long, 200 pound alligator gar. That's literally one of the main reasons why I moved here. But unfortunately the water last year was really, really high. And um, it was just like, they were too spread out. The fish, the gator gar were everywhere, but you really need to know the exact location of where they were the, they were going to be pretty much so it was too difficult i couldn't get on them i got tons of footage and the worst part is the first day that i ever went out i had about like a hundred pounder roll within 20 yards away from me but i passed him up because i mean i know there's a lot bigger ones out there you can only shoot one a day I literally just barely started recording with my GoPro. Got the full draw and I was like, nah. But at the same time, it wouldn't have been like a super easy shot. I would have had to have been at full draw and then, you know, been ready for it. But I probably could have had them. Because once they kind of like submerge down, that you just hold like pretty low and you can compensate for the depth that they're at. Like the 300 says made by Alaska hunters and is used for moose. Oh, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm sure it probably says something, but. All right, we got another gator calling over here. Dude, you guys, we did not get that seven. We don't have any hunting pressure over there. But this here is the location that we kicked up. That rare gator, right here. There's a doe, another doe. So they're actually spooked because there's a gator around here. They're not spooked from us. Because they're not looking this way. There's a gator somewhere nearby. Oh, I fished there before. Huge bass. Uh, yeah, I'm talking bow fishing though. Come on. He was right here. There goes a big seven. Good size seven too. Yeah, this is the part that you guys normally don't see. The part where it takes me 15 times to go back to the same spot to try and figure out where the animal actually is. Oh, that could be it. Dude, it called up here somewhere. That could be it. Why do I hear it, but not? That looks about right though. I feel like that's the spot that it should be. Yep, 
Yeah, I know, right, Thomas? The update's gonna be epic. It really is. Well, the tracks are on. So let's go over here. See if we can't figure out where that thing called from. Got a spot here and a spot there. Oh my god, you guys. I don't know where it is. I really don't know where it is. And I don't know what to do to be able to find it. Well, we could try from over here, I suppose. Work our way back. Maybe it'll come back when we come from a different direction. Oh, is that what it is, Fade? Yeah, the C button. That's my crouch button. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. We I got, got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. Hey, Title and George. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the channel. Apparently now there's a button that if you press C it hides the tracks So C should be crouch Wait a second. Why is it not crouch? Oh left control What? No, it's oh it is look dude it is Oh my god, that's so... <laughs> they switched my crouch button. Okay. So let's find the C button here. There it is. Hide all animal clues. Put it at... Slash. Because why would I ever want to use that button? If I need to, I can just turn the tracks off. Actually, that would be cool, because then I won't have to turn the tracks off by going through all this. Oh, that is good to know then. Interesting. Okay, so now we're back. So, the slash is what controls that. No wonder why we couldn't find any tracks. Dude, thank you so much for saying that. I forgot who the heck said that. Uh... Trinity River. I hunted Trinity all last year. Almost had a 200 pounder. I mean, he rolled about 30 yards away. And, oh, I let one fly. I definitely did, but you aren't going to get him at that distance. Even if you do hit him. Holy, we got gators way down here. Okay, okay. It's uh, pretty shallow here too, so we could get this one. That C button is going to be crucial though. No wonder I couldn't find any tracks. Oh. Yeah, starting to get a headache though. That's why I pry on him so much. Get up! Where is he at? Interesting. He never showed up. 
Hey, Brutal, what's going on, man? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll definitely come back here tomorrow and look for him. Actually, better yet, I'll look for him first so you guys don't have to. And then, if I find him, we'll come back here tomorrow. What was I just spotting over there? That was weird. Notice that there's a hundred meter difference. What do you think? Mountain lions. Yeah, those mountain lions are frustrating. They literally will ruin your whole entire hunt. Same thing as the bobcats. They've been getting more and more aggressive lately. Well, it depends on what areas you're hunting. I mean, if you're hunting on the northeast end, then yeah, there's no mountain lions there. But if you hunt on the south end, oh, it's loaded with mountain lions. We heard alligators this whole time, but we never saw a single one. Hey, Devin, please. Thanks for subscribing, man. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, I mean, on my main account, it would be so easy to find this thing because we could just find his track. Oh my god! No freaking way! Undying Legendary. Holy... We're looking for a rare albino. And we found a nine legendary dime potential alligator. Oh, wow. Whew. That's pretty cool. I've never gotten a diamond alligator before. I just realized that. I just realized I've never gotten a diamond alligator. <sighs> Holy. This is something else. Well, we might have to try and sneak up on him and take him with a bow, you guys. We might. Holy. And hopefully we can keep him. Hopefully. I gotta remember what my... Pad one. What? Oh, is that really what I have to do? Huh. Oh, it is. Oh, heck yeah. All right. Oh, I thought it said shoot it. I was like, I'm not just going to shoot it from there. You couldn't even see a good angle for a shot. I mean, Texas hard shot with a seven millimeter. No way. So he's going to rest there until 12 o'clock. We got about two hours to get there. The wind is perfect. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. All we got to do is get in range to be able to make the shot. Throw in the Hawkage bow and we have to use the 420s because the alligators are not quite big enough to use the 600s apparently. Yeah, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect because this water here is shallow. Oh my God, I'm kind of freaking out right now. I've never gotten a diamond alligator before. One time I almost did get one, 
during the beta when this map first came out, but then I haven't seen one since. Don't spook it. Thanks, Lennox. I appreciate that. Because, yeah, we are getting kind of close to it, aren't we? Should probably slow down a little bit here. Well, what is... What does that button do now? Um... All right, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're only 130 yards out from it. I'm trying to record this too. And I'm like super hungry, so we need to make this all happen smoothly here. He's in a good spot to sneak up on him. A real good spot. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. And the wind is perfect. Take the shot with the bow so you don't scare the albino. I mean, that's a good idea too, but... <laughs> we need to make a perfect shot with a bow, not just a shot. This thing needs to be a perfect vital shot. Because it's the first time I've ever seen a diamond alligator. I've never gotten one before. <laughs> I like that very sounds like we're watching an episode of Swamp People dude I used to watch that show like religiously I would watch it every single day and I would not stop watching it until it was over alright so how are you supposed to know if the tracks are on though like I'm pretty sure they might not be on at this point but they might be. Alright, we are only 70 yards away from this gator. There's two there. Oh man, I didn't really want to spot that because now I don't know. Did I just spot one across the... Oh, I spotted that one over there. But our gator should be like right here. can't see him though. Oh, you love swamp people, Cody? Nice, nice. Hit him between the eyes where the brain is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way we're going for that shot with this bow. I mean, yeah, we're pretty accurate with it, but that's too risky. The brain is super, super tiny in these gators. Um, I just want to check one thing once. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for American Alligator. Class 6 recommended. Yep, he's right on that point right there. So tactically he's in range. I mean that's pretty cool, Connie. I'm glad you're still here. Kill it now, huh? Just freaking let one fly. Can't even. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I just saw it. Dude, he's 65 yards away. Broadside laying perfectly right there. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but. So we're trying to slide over here to get to a spot where we can see it while we're prone. And I think we're going to be able to see him. Oh my god. There he is right there, you guys. 65 yards. <sighs> That's a shot. That is a shot. So we're going to have to hold it right at that grass. Just a little bit further back to compensate for that angle there. And we'll go for the shot. I'm zeroing in for 65. Perfect shot! No way! No way! Oh my god! We freaking dropped him! You're kidding me! We made a heart shot! I mean, I knew it was going right for the lungs. It looked like an amazing shot. 
But to drop him at 65 yards with a heart shot and the bow. There is no way. Yeah, I am completely blown away. I'm holy crap. Oh my god, we did it. That's a hard shot. 65 yards. Look at that arrow placement, you guys. Holy, look at that. Look at the size of that gator. And look at where our arrow is right there. Unbelievable. Well, let's pick him up and find out. It's not a diamond. <laughs> it is not a diamond, but it's a giant 482 gold. I mean, what an epic, epic shot though. 65 yards and we got him in the lower neck and lung and spinal cord as well. So as you can see, that's a great, great spot to hit a gator. Double lung neck shot. That's what we pulled off there at 65 yards. Oh, I so wanted to get pumped that it was going to be a diamond, but it just wasn't quite a diamond. And it was actually a good bit off, like 10 points off. It still probably is my biggest uh, alligator to date because I've never gotten a diamond, but... Oh, so close. Yeah, it's still a giant gator. Still a giant gator, and what a heck of a shot. Oh my god, I can't get over that shot. 482. So he was 10 points off from being a diamond. But a 64 yard, perfect, perfect double lung neck shot right there. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Well, I'll just use that for the video part. But anyways, for all the rest of you guys that are still watching, thanks for watching the stream. And tomorrow... You best believe it. We're going to be back out there to try and find that albino alligator as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. I appreciate you guys all being here.